yeah thank you guys for attending it and uh, i will not i will try not to bore you you know here i know it's like in the evening and you might be waiting for your cocktail so let's you know it quick you know so what we are so you know we are a company you know founded 6 years back uh, you know to help small businesses uh, having access to credit and we are, and we and we are a full service platform so we run an institutional platform what that means is that we will do a lot of alternative lending but we go up to 5 years now and we also have a banking platform so we do sba loans non sba traditional cni loans and and the benefit is that we can do everything in one single platform instead of having multiple platforms and for the businesses it's great because they get the ability to choose different products different payment options so it's not just daily but weekly by weekly monthly as you can see and also banks participate on our platform so they buy our loans and they also use our platform to originate loans uh, directly also uh, you know so uh, being in business for 6 years you know we have over 200000 small businesses on our platform adding another 12 to 14000 new businesses a month as of now a uh, pretty smart dashboard as you will see so it's not just lending so we have, we become the virtual cfo so the benefit of that for a lot of our partners is that you know it's a great customer retention tool it's a great way to know your customers better where they are where they are going and what all you can do you know there and uh, you know our average funded customer you know as you can see has a pretty high credit score 7 years plus in business and this is on our uh, non banking platform uh and that clearly means that we are able to attract some pretty high quality customers uh, and a lot of customers uh, with different needs uh, so we'll do working capital we will do bridge loans we will do acquisition financing so we are pretty innovative uh, in that sense we are we are also starting a cre loan portfolio on our institutional platform where we already have a pretty large uh, commitment from some of the largest banks to come and buy those back after a few months so Uh, so we are starting that also, and on the banking side, we already are doing uh, SBA, non-SBA, uh, CNI, CRE loans also. So we are fully plugged into the banking platform. Quite a few banks are using our digital platform today uh, to originate and to underwrite those loans. So which actually gives us a great understanding into the banking space, which I think is gonna converge with the alternative lending uh, in next few years' time. Uh, so what we do for underwriting, you know, so we are pretty proud of our underwriting models. You know, in last uh, five years, we have done over 1.2 billion in loans. You know, our so default rates are only 0.7 percent, uh, so it's 0.7 percent. You know, and uh, we publish our data every month. Uh, and what we do is that we have our own patented business analyzer score. You know, which takes into account uh, different parameters, including your personal credit, business credit, your IRS data. data coming in from lexis nexis data coming in from your payment your, your secretary of states and a lot of this technology we have built on our own so you know like pulling all the ucc liens filing ucc liens uh, collecting the data on the on the on the personal uh, uh, bank accounts and business bank accounts so we sync those up and we update that every month so on every single customer that we have whether they get funded or not we will update that data every month so that's something very important you know uh, and then we have a pretty customized online reporting system for all our institutional uh, partners so they can you know get all the servicing is fully automated underwriting is automated they can plug through apis or they have their own smart dashboards and they can you know see every single loan out there with the full amortization schedule and how th- how the clients or the borrowers are paying whether they're paying on time or they are uh, behind schedule or they are uh, early payers out there so and our scorecards actually adjust according to the payment and and also every month we will update their personal credit data their business credit uh, their data from secretary of state so you can get an update also on that and then we benchmark it by different industries uh, geographies and age of business also what we have really done for our institutional platform is that you know as i was saying you know it's like they can easily diversify their loan mix so you know they will actually participate in loan products which are less than 12 months to 5 years different asset classes are unsecured to secured you know uh, then they get a full online dashboard they can set up their own portfolio parameters uh, and uh, and then loans can either be or they can bid for them or if they are already pre selected their criteria then loans can just match there itself directly uh, dynamic dashboard so this is very important so for every single business customer that we get in you know we are syncing up their bank account we are syncing up their personal credit stuff and we are updating that data every month so we spend our own money to do that but that gives us a wealth of information on businesses how they are performing 
and even if some businesses cannot get money at the get go uh, position you know we can track them back we can give them products down the line and also the businesses which get money we are constantly monitoring them from a portfolio perspective so that gives us a lot of insight into risk into the stresses that we might be seeing in any kind of uh, industry uh, or geography so that's very important because as the markets are going to change interest rates are going to go up you know we'll, we'll start seeing that happening more and more and we have seen credit cycles so i think today nobody thinks about risk but you know that's going to be a big play i think in the next one year to 18 months so i think that's important these are dashboard for our customers so they can you know see everything they can analyze everything and they can also you know set up all the parameters so all the credit score histories are there, their debt to income, as their time in business goes up, so we are pulling all the data, we are also monitoring their quarterly payroll data, also which is very important, uh, the corporate risk from Secretary of State, which is important, and all the repayment data, so whether they are paying it to us, or they are paying even their credit card bills or other bills, you know, everything gets incorporated back into the, into the platform, and then this is the analysis and the recommendation, that what you know they need to do to keep improving their biz analyzer scores so this becomes like a self underwriting platform for them also that now their credit worthiness is in their hands and this the institutional guys can also see they get to see everything out there they can see their application they can see their balances they can see how many payments they have made you know who they have been dealing with in the company so we have a credit trained loan specialist that they are talking to and uh, they can see you know where were their approximate payoff dates when the renewals will come and how those renewals will even look uh, this is a mobile first platform so anything that you can do on desktop you can do fully on mobile a responsive platform on apps so we are seeing a lot of these customers coming through mobile and we track every customer from their ip we track it from the source they're coming how they are converting and there are you know ways and means to increase the conversion and and also figure out you know certain group of customers will come from different uh, you know sources and, and then how they perform even so uh, we do a lot of data stuff also. We have a benchmark small business lending index, which we bring out every month, which is now has become the benchmark index. Uh, we do a lot of st stuff for different uh, groups, including women-owned businesses, Latino-owned businesses. Next month, you know, we are going to uh, release our annual study on the top 25 metropolitan areas for small businesses in the country. Uh, we have a lot of partnerships with uh, media companies like CNBC, Fox, which actually uh, co-promote it and co-sponsor it and then we do webinars and that's a great way also to get a lot of new customers who are you know very knowledgeable and like who come with their needs you know which we can totally map it and what we are trying to do right now here is that you know we are trying to change the lending industry in a way that i think uh, we're not just the originators what we have done is that we have created the whole smart dashboards which actually is gonna change the whole industry because later this year we are opening up our dashboards for third party api partners so so we already have some very big fortune 500 companies which are uh, developing their apps for our platform and that's going to get fully integrated that means there'll be more data that means there'll be more uh, lead flow in from those partners of ours and that also means more stickable customers and that means that there will be more lending but more renewal than lower defaults which is the key because my take on the industry is that uh, as the markets are going to evolve uh, the or the companies or the platforms which can manage the origination with risk will be the winners and, and anybody who's going to control the smart dashboard will actually gain a lot of competitive advantage and by working with banks very closely you know we are able to also have the very compliant platform and and i think that's also key and important so any questions that you might have you know i can answer if you have questions please raise your hand and i'll bring the mic to you Thank you, great presentation. Are you uh, planning to expand outside of the United States at all? Yes, yes, we are looking at some market. We are actually being approached by a lot of banks right now in Europe and other countries uh, who want to actually even license our platform and want to, want to try it out. So, and some of the other alternative players. So, uh, right now we are seriously talking to a few banks uh, to do that, but we are open to other expansion. 